Alright guys, well today's video is going to be something completely different. I'm not going to be doing anything with Bertie Bus. I was thinking of going out on the Harley, but then I thought, nah, the weather's not brilliant. I've got nowhere in particular to go. So I've been putting this off for a long time. I need to have a fire up of the TIG welder. Here it is. It's a raw 200 pp, whatever that means. Anyway, um, I've used the stick welder on it and it was fine. Over here, my other two welders I used. This one here, this old stick welder, I used to use all the time for repairing cars, just tacks. Um, and then I bought this, what I've been using now. Um, both of them I can get away with, obviously this one's a lot easier. But I also bought this, um, the intention of learning myself how to TIG weld. I have fired it up once, um, like I say, but that was to use for a stick welder. So I've connected up everything I need to use the TIG, but I haven't actually used it yet. So today I thought what I'll do, I'll just get myself a piece of steel. I'm going to just uh, give it a rub down, clean up, and then fire up this and just see what I can and can't do. This one has actually got a pulse on it. I don't know whether I need to use it or not. Like I say, never used TIG before in my life. So it'll be interesting. My idea was um, when I take off the driver's door of Bertie Bus, then I might be able to do a better job with this. But we will see. I just might not get on with it. You never know. So I'll get changed. We'll get this set up. And we'll fire it up and give it a go. See how we get on. Like I say, I've never used the TIG welder before. I've used the stick. Um, I've got some stainless welding rods here. And I've also got some pieces of stainless in that bag, what my son got me to use to. Well, basically, when I bought it, I said I was probably going to use it to do some stainless welding make something up but now I've decided I want to do a bit of mild steel I need um, I'm going to just practice first without even using any filler wire just try and fire it up just see how that will burn onto the steel but I've seen in many videos people trying this obviously it's not the most expensive jig welder you can get it's relatively cheap but also people say you can get some good results with it but they're probably experienced welders what I've shown you how they did with it so people like me well just gonna have some fun really I have been told or have seen videos where people weld thin mild steel what they actually use as a filler wire is just a piece of um, MIG wire so I might even have a go at that later but I think first of all I need to get this fired up try and get the ampage right the flow of my gas or me flow of me argon here actually that's pure argon need to get the flow of the pure argon just right get the amps just right so that I can put a weld on this plate so like I say it's all a learning curve so I'll give it a go in a bit and I'll let you see how I do. I might make a complete all muck up of it. But not too bothered. Got to learn somehow, haven't you? Um, it's going to be completely different from using the no gas MIG welder and totally different from using a stick welder. Although it's the same principle, it's just different. That's <laughs> strange to say, but I've had watched a few videos people mucking up and I've watched a few videos people make it look so easy um, the disadvantage for using this is outside if there's any wind then you're just going to be blowing away your argon and that is quite expensive that gas so I need to get that big door shut uh, yeah and just give it a go guys so I've just ground the tip on this stuck it in here um, ready to fire it up and do a first um, strike an arc on here now this is 
got high frequency so I shouldn't need to touch it on the steel if I do then I'm gonna to have to regrind it um, I don't even know if that's very good we'll, we'll find out as we go um, yeah so all I'm aiming to do is strike an arc at a minute and probably just drag it along the steel just see if I can keep the arc going for a little while like I say, never done it before, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. Got my arms covered, got my old jeans on, just in case, you know, it's got. And I'm actually sitting down on my swivel chair. I've got my piece in a little vice, so should be comfortable. Get my earth clamp, or positive in this case. Got my clamp on, ready to go. Um, I'm not sure about the flow because everything says cubic feet and R this is in litres so I'm going to aim for about four five litres an hour that's probably too much or too little who knows so I'm going to go for about four litres an hour just going to see what happened really we just never know dear right um, where can I put this camera on here, I think I might be able to see. Put a glove on, should barely got two on, but I'm gonna put one on. Right, let's fire it up. Come to this, I'm on about 20 amps at a minute, something like that. I don't know if that's too many. Who knows? <laughs> right. Push me that, let's see what happens. Well, no, I think I'm going to try and cover on the side. Like I said, I don't know what's going on. Well, it seems a bit strange to hear at the minute. I don't know whether I'm going too fast or too slow. I'm just going to do this a little fast. Let's just see how it looks. Well, I throw through there, so it's probably a little bit too warm. I should really keep this in when it's first cool, but I'll forgive myself because I haven't used it before. I'm not even sure if the flow rates are right or not. Let's have a look. Don't try to take back out them bins on. Um, get the camera. See the heat might be too much heat actually for this thin piece of steel. That's only 0 0.8 mil. See the end that blew through there. I'll get that on most um, welding applications if you. Oh yeah, you can see it's penetrated through the bottom. Obviously I haven't put any filler in this at all. I just wanted to see how that would burn along, just for a bit of practice. Might try um, a couple more, then maybe move a little bit quicker. Let's have a look again. Yeah, I might just try moving a bit quicker. See what difference that makes. I'll come here somewhere. We'll see what happens. It's all exciting, isn't it? Well, it's for me. I don't know if I'll get on with it. Well, I'll say it's going to be no good for outside, is it? Right, let's um, put it on it. Yeah. 
cool. Like, let's have a look. Because I'm not actually welding anything together. Of course, all I'm doing is, well, it's all over the place, isn't it? I'm not very steady anyway with my welding, but. Let's have a look at the other side. Yeah, it's got penetration now, look. Plenty of heat by the looks. Um, let's see if I can turn it down just a little bit more. Obviously the plate is quite hot now, so we'll wait a few minutes. And I'll turn it down just a touch. Um, and try again. As you can see, I'm pretty low. I'm going to turn it down low as I can go. 10 amp. Um, yep, yeah, let's try that. Clamp on. It's going to do a problem. That's annoying. I think I uh, touched the tungsten on the work. It's got a little tiny blob on it, so it's all, all over the place now. So I've just stamped um, ground that off again and try again. Video, just re the tip. Obviously, I've turned it right down now. We'll see how it goes. It's quite thin steel, isn't it? Well, uh, one, the arc was all over the place. I don't think you're going to see with that anyway. Um, the arc was all over the place. And two, I don't think there's enough heat in it though. I'm guessing. No, it's not even pushed for him, so. Too low. Let's go to around I'll try and put it onto a line so I can use it again if it's right. Um, well if I get it right I might have to mark on the actual welder. Well I've just turned it up now to looks like 30 something. Oh, can't see close, put it on the C5, yeah 35. Let's see a pearl there. Definitely more. Mm. So that's going to blow through. Stop that, right? The trouble is, when you're used to one kind of welding, you try something else, um, and you don't know what you're doing. You're going to get different um, Obviously it's going to be hot mm, Starting off alright Building a wand I'm in the ballpark now Looks 
looks like. Um, what does it look like? Well, it's obviously deeper than this one, but not. Let me just try that again. Maybe move a bit slower. And maybe put the clamp on. Right, well, let's try again. I think the first one is probably best. But it's not. So if you're going wrong, remember the, the plate is getting hotter as we go. Let's try something else. Get a little bit cleaner. It's got to be really clean. Some people say clean it, sand it, use some master term. In real life, I just want to be whacking in some plates in something. I don't want to mess about all day. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got the patience for that, to be honest. I'll just give it a good clean up. You ain't going to well through rusting that like you can with a stick or a tick or a, or a MIG. But Let's try another pass. I'll try it one end this time. Because obviously I'll be holding some wire or something. All over the place. All over the place. Maybe I've dipped it. Just gonna clean the tip up again. Like I say, I'm not sure this is gonna be for me with this messing about. It doesn't look too bad, it doesn't look like I have. If you ain't got stuff right in the first place. If you ain't got stuff right in the first place, then you're not going to get anywhere, are you? Um, this might not be for me, I mean, maybe you need a lot of patience to do this, and I, I definitely haven't got that. But come on. Trial an hour. There's people out there who do this all the time screaming now. What's he doing? I don't know. Like I say, watch the food videos. I'm not saying I think I know all, because I don't. It's just really different to anything I'm used to. And I think the only way you get good at anything is by trying. And that's what I'm doing now. 
because you know us, I'm not even trying to introduce any welding wire, I'm not trying to fuse two pieces of plate together. I just want to try and get used to using this method really of welding. Right, I'm going to give it another go. Oh, what are those daddy? What are they in That's for sure. Now I thought I was coming along here and I got over there so I can't even get that right. Mm. Let me try and weld another piece of steel to this piece. Maybe that's going to make a difference, like a lap weld or something. Right. Well, yeah, so I've just laid this um, piece of steel on here, put my mold grips on the top and I'm just going to basically try and fuse these two together, or melt them together, whatever you want to call it, without any filler wire. Um, I'm sure it's going to show on this camera when, when the weld is fired up, it's probably just going to be too bright, but I won't know until, until I edit the video really, but I'll just continue to do it if it's rubbish I'll cut it out but the point of it is I just wanted people to see that you see so many videos of people showing you how to do something and you think God that's easy I'll get all the gear but things are not always easy I know I could now get my wig, MIG welder and weld this quite easily but with this totally different for me um, I'm not saying I'm a good welder, because I'm not, but I know I could do it and it would look alright and that would be secure, but with this I'm not sure, so I'm not going to give that joint a go, I, I don't know what's going to happen, let's just try it. Even down to grinding this tip could make so much difference. Maybe if I had someone to teach me, I'd crack on a lot easier. But I haven't. And I like trying to find things out for myself. I think eventually 
I will get this, I've just got to get the right temperature. Maybe it's oxidating too much, I need a little bit more um, argon, so I'll adjust that as well. See that's the other thing with this, because of um, the price of argon, you can hear that hissing away and you're just thinking, Whoa, how much is this going to cost me to weld a little patch in somewhere? Uh, let's um, let's adjust the flow rate. Right, I've adjusted it to five now. Let's see how we go. Try another tank. Tell you what, that actually seems bad, isn't it? Straight away. And it's brighter, so it's not got that black look to it. Um, Concentrate more on the top, I think, to, to attack. Oh, sorry, I couldn't. Right, up, guys, so I could have um, tried this out practice for hours and come back to you and show you here's how you do it oh look at this this is easy I'm not finding it easy I don't know whether it's because I've used other welders or whether it's just the way I am I just can't seem to knack it a minute but I'm sure by the end of maybe not today because I don't know how much more I'm going to do with this but trial and error um, we'll see if I can weld by the end of this session if I can weld two pieces of metal together I'll be happy I don't want it for structural work so obviously I use my other welder I want this for like body work parts I can take off for instance like the door I did I think if I could use this TIG get it sour bright I could probably make a neater job who knows so I'm going to keep trying until I get somewhere near where I think I might be able to do a better job. So I'll keep carrying on and we'll see how we get on. Gonna need to clean that um, tungsten up again, innit? I don't know. Well, I've been messing about here now for over an hour, I guess, with different pieces of metal. Um, that's where I was blowing through right this piece here was where I tried before with no filler now I've got to the stage here if you can see I've just used a piece of this um, MIG wire not the flux core just ordinary MIG wire and just done a little bead here now that was my first one I tried with it before. Um No, it's not anywhere near perfect. But I can remember when I was trying to stick weld in the beginning. I found that when I went away, came back next day and tried, didn't seem quite as hard. Things got into my head. So I'm going to try a couple more goes. Um, well, these two pieces of steel I've cut here using some of this uh, MIG wire see if I can get a bead looking a bit better on them 
and then I'm going to leave it. So I'll just do that now. It's got to clean them up a little bit, obviously, uh, to make sure that they're nice and clean. And we'll give that a go. Clean this piece here. One thing I have found, if it's not really clean, then you've got less chance. Um, it's going to regrind this tip. And then I'm going to try and run a little bead across here. And then we'll see how that goes whether it's good or bad and then I'm going to give it a rest and maybe try again another time but I just want to show you that it's not as easy as you think some people might pick up straight away I might have my settings completely wrong but I've tried a higher temperature and this happens I tried turning my argon up and I can see it going down uh, it's quite expensive stuff so I'll put that back to where I think it should be um, yeah, I don't know where them other bits went. I had a couple more bits there I've been trying on. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not good. But I'm going to give this another go. Like I say, with this big filler wire. Just see if I can get a bead across there and we'll see how that looks. Again, I don't know how that's going to come out on that camera. But I'm going to try and do a little running on there with this mid filler wire and we'll see how we get on if at all we do Well, that was terrible, but ain't too bad, is it? Not for a beginner, beginner. I know people are going to say, blimey, I did better than that my first go, but I'm trying. Just try one more pass on that. That's worse. Get another piece of wire, I think. Mm -hmm. Feels like maybe because the plate is healed up, heated up. Sorry, maybe because of the plate is heated up, then this seems to be harder. But I'll just try and get another piece of wire. Right, it's in all tricks online where you can get a piece of mid wire probably about a metre long put it in one end in the voice the other in the drill and twist it and then that will become straight so I could try that get a few pieces ready for next time which I probably will do but at this moment it's going to try with this piece that I've got here just to try and do just I only want to come across here don't I Not as easy as you buy for it, I think. I'll tell you that now. Well, I'll tell you the only thing you see in the middle of it. There it is.
well. As you can see, I had a break in it there. But maybe if I can get straighten out some of this MIG wire, um, I might get a better result. It's got a little bit of a bump on it. I think just before I go, I'll just clean this edge. I'll clamp this um, other piece of metal to it, clean them up, and just see whether I can do a quick lap well before I go. We'll try that. As you can see here now where I want to try and weld together across here. Maybe if I just started off using some thicker materials, maybe I'd have found that easier. But this is the kind of stuff where I'm going to be welding anyway, especially with with, a, with this TIG. I might not even be doing it because, like I say, I can see my gas going down. And that's going to be quite expensive. But if I could get a decent weld, what looks nice would be very nice. Right, I'm going to try this here now. Like I say, I am not convinced that's going to work any good. But we will see. You can see the wire still a bit bendy wendy. Come on, Paul. Hello? Right, where was I? Well, I don't know where I was. I was just going to do a quick weld on here. I've got to go now anyway for work. So, let's see what I can do. I'm not happy with that at all. That's terrible. Try it from a different angle. Let's have a look. Well, I'm not even going to show you that because that is terrible. Um, like I say, uh, I'm going to pack up now, switch this off so you might, might be able to hear me. Uh, I'm going to pack up now and I will try this uh, another day and hopefully that will be a lot better. I don't know what's going on here, just technique, setting's not right, I just can't seem to do it. This, this, I've got one bead here which I think was alright but I'd have done that better probably with my stick welder with some tacks but I think gas what do they call it um, I think the more you try the better you'll get but have breaks in between but we will see with this like I say, some people might say I'm doing it completely wrong. Who knows? But I will get this one day, but not today. But I've had fun trying, and that's the main thing. Apart from the gas usage, which is a little bit annoying because maybe I'm using too much. Um, when I keep looking online, it goes down for... Um, feet per minute, feet per hour, feet per minute, whatever. But I've got liters, so I've done it. I've looked online and I found some settings according to them what I should use. But maybe us, maybe it's not enough. Uh, if you can do everything first time and do a lovely weld, then that'd be cost efficient. But 
if you're gonna have to use hours on end to do anything any good then that's going to be very expensive from what I can see. I'm going to leave this video here um, you can knock my welds, you can do what you want, I ain't bothered but I'm just saying um, I'm giving it a try and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.